Join me as I walk around Freeze Art Fair 2023 in Regent's Park, London. Freeze 2023, Freeze Week, I should say, 2023, took place between uh, 11th to the 15th of October. And this is the tent. This is my second time attending Freeze, so I had a better idea of what to expect. I went last year and I wasn't sure what to see. And this year I felt I had a better idea of what to do and where to go. I have to be honest, I was quite underwhelmed by everything. There were a few standout pieces, there were a few classics like this Andy Warhol. Barbara Chase Rabu is an artist I love and admire. She has an incredible backstory. I've seen her work at the at MoMA in New York and at the Serpentine Gallery in London. And her work always elicits an emotional response from me and like her backstory and just the way she uses materials I just think is really interesting. And I can now spot her trademark pieces. And I felt that what this, uh, at the Freeze Art Fair, it felt like it went in waves where you'd see something really, really interesting like the Andy Warhol or Barbara Chase Rabu. But then there was a lot of like nondescript art, things that weren't really remarkable. And then you'd see something like this, which would, which would totally stop you in your tracks. Now, this is completely from my era. There was a time when we used to listen to music in uh, music stores. You put the headphones on and you could listen to like a full album. And all of these albums are completely from my era. So from Mariah, Madonna, um, Sugar Babes, Whitney Houston. I'm sure I've still got these uh, like CDs sitting somewhere. And um, I just love this. It really took me back. And the person I was with uh, was much younger at the time and didn't remember them. So it's great to talk about that. This piece by Gillian Waring also kind of like stopped us in our tracks. I mean, that was a very lifelike head hanging on that chain. But it did feel like there was like the odd piece like this that would draw you in. But then there would be like a whole load of things that weren't really um, remarkable. I then headed out to the sculpture park. So this is by uh, Yinka Shonibare, who's an artist who I really admire and really like. Um, there's three sites at Freeze, uh, in case you don't know. So there's like the Freeze Art Fair, which is where I was just at, which is like the main site. Uh, then there's Freeze Masters, which I was on my way to, and that uh, focuses on, on artists uh, from the year 2000 and before. And then the Freeze Sculpture Park, which is what we're looking at here. Now, this was probably one of my favourite sculptures as well. This is by an artist called Hank Willis Thomas, and it's called All Power to All People. And it really just kind of like stood out. I just thought it was just so smart and it looked really good on a grey Wednesday afternoon. So the vibe at Freeze Masters is a lot more chilled and I just liked it a lot more immediately. It was less crowded and the lighting is a lot softer. I mean, the lighting in the main tent is really kind of jarring. And this was one of the main exhibits that I wanted to come and see. This was the Ai Weiwei and this is the camouflage violin. And then there was this, these huge images on the wall of Ai Weiwei dropping um, a vase and then it breaking into lots of fragments. And I think this was from the 80s or the 90s. I think it might be in the 80s. And they actually then, you'll see in a moment, they had all the fragments collected. And it felt like it was a lot of the um, pre-2000 art that really resonated with me. I'm not sure why. I didn't, in Freeze, in the actual main art fair, I didn't see anything that I really, really liked in that way. Uh, this was another Barbara Chase Rabu, which was uh, I was really happy to see. And like I said, I spotted it immediately. And like, you know, I love the way Barbara Chase Rabu uses gold and black. And then I saw this other piece and I was wondering, like, you know, oh, maybe that is a Barbara Chase Rabu, but it wasn't. It was another artist. Um, I thought it was still pretty and it still caught my eye. Um, and then after that, I went to the Gales and just sat down and chilled out and just looked at this gorgeous view, had a cup of tea and a cookie. It was like about 5.30 in the evening. And it was just really nice to just kind of like chill and just see industry people talk. To be honest, I found the whole free, I found this, this particular freeze fair underwhelming. And if you didn't go, you didn't miss anything. So please don't worry.